What's good friends got more SPLs with Porsche but the mono shiny team got T in the call. And God damn mono <laughs> shiny. So we have um two Faramosas. Why do you make his Greninja shiny? I guess like people do that. It's like I guess they just wanna be like make it aggressively obvious that their Greninja is not Ash Green. Yeah. Unless he's a hacker and he's <laughs> Sunny Ashcraft. I like I like Sweet Pasho's team. I like Angelo's a bit because it's got like the the core in the middle yeah, and like, then the offense on the outside. Angelo has been spamming Toxic Plex. I think he used it like three times, two or three times. Like I yeah. think this is the third time he's using it. Um, and he uh, this is didn't he just use Gengar's last battle too? I'm not sure, but I'm, Shapito can't like Shapito doesn't have good answers like. Bronzong gets yeah. crunched. Venusaur dies to Psychic Fangs with the prior damage. Yeah, uh, yeah. Doesn't Sharpedo just win? Feromosa like... um like checks it and Greninja checks it offensively if it didn't get the speed boost, but like Greninja can probably live any hit from Shapito so. And Zygarde can also kill it with E speed if it's offensive Zygarde if it gets a bit like if the Shapito gets it I think like. I think it does like 70% bandit. I would assume. That's just the head count. Yeah. So we will well, like, just like... He will just get up... Um, you think he's rocks? Um, rocks looking at his team, it, it should be like rocks, Lando, spikes, Pharaoh, or maybe rocks and spikes, yeah, Pharaoh. Yeah, Zemo, Zemo, Pharaoh, or Ganga, and the other one could be Scarf. So it's a Probably sub, Z, Pharaoh, so. sub coil, Zygarde. So. Actually, Z Feromosa wouldn't make much sense because he's not weak to Metagross at all. Like, he has Gengar and uh, Sharpedo. Oh, uh, Knockoff is an interesting set. I don't really like the set, but it worked out here to get rid of the lefties. Yeah. That did a lot. I think that's a Max Attack Landers, right? Or, like, maybe it's Jolly, but it's like Attack Invested. Whoa. He went hard. I, get, I guess that was a good play, but that was yeah. pretty risky. No, no, that, I, it, it scouted for HP Ice, Hatton too. That was a good play. Um, like, he's either, like... No, he could have U-turned potentially there, but... It was kind of obvious that he was rocks. So, Toxapex yeah. walls this once again, unless it's uh, extrasensory. <laughs> I think he's just gonna get up a spike. Like, there's no way you stay in with your Landris. Steve's going Toxapex or maybe even Feral Thorn. Yeah, yeah, Toxapex. Or maybe Toxapex. Like, Toxapex Feral lives any hit. Like, even if it's extra sensory, he can pivot out. So, man just, man just predicted the Toxapex. I don't know. So, maybe he doesn't have spikes, but that didn't work out for him. <laughs> Yeah, Ferrothorn makes sense if he's most bedev, potentially. Like, he would have scouted for... He would have scouted for this, HP Fire the following turn, I'm pretty sure, if the Greninja stayed in. This this Zygarde beats Ferrothorn, doesn't it? Nah, he lost Wait. the leftovers. Oh, okay, okay. So, the... the hazards Cripple. Stay. Steve is stacking the hazards already, and... Pretty yeah, sure I guess... He's Knockoff is better on Landorus than HP Ice, maybe because, like, knocking off the leftovers on Zygarde pretty much just made it useless because yeah. it was able to set up on so much stuff and now it can't. So, like, even if he withdraws his Zygarde from Landorus in the future, it's still crippled. Like, if it was HP Ice, I'm saying, like, because usually they'll, like, try to stay in and Thousand Arrows once because they can oh, take HP. Oh, um, he was Choice Bandit. He was Choice Bandit Zygarde. Um, oh. knock, he knocked off the choice ban. So someone in the chat asked if he if he toxic to bluff banned for later. Yeah, I think I think choice ban typically uh, carries toxic to catch stuff like Tangrowth. Like I would run I would run toxic on my choice ban, Zygarde for sure. So he gets the burn with the second try. This is like this is looking super like bad for Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, knocking off the choice band was obviously really good. <coughs> His only spinner is Fermosa. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, 
on both so sides. these hazards are gonna get like pretty annoying and here goes some more probably just gonna sell some arrows yeah i mean that did that did jack then nothing so this is trouble ferrothorn probably okay nice dodge <laughs> not really dang that really sucks yes it does because especially because he doesn't have leftovers yeah he's two hit ko'd now i mean i'm pretty sure jarball would kill this or maybe not if he's hp invested maybe not how does pasho beat curse feral thorn oh, so he just wanted another hazard I mean, Ferrothorn is already dead. I know, but I was just thinking. Oh, you mean in general? Yeah, I guess I mean, Venusaur. HP Fire, Venusaur, um, potential That's Focus Blast or High Jump Kick for Mosa, potential HP Fire Greninja. Like, the Thousand Arrows did some. Damage to where the Feral Thorn looked like it had Spadef investment over physical investment. It did 28, and that's a Zygarde. I mean, it's probably an Adamant Zygarde. But yeah, he was definitely not max defense. I think, yeah, mixed defensive. So this gets a kill. It's probably. Yeah. Um, is it Scarf or is it Z move? That's always my question. Steve Angelo is wild enough to slap a Z move on this too. I mean, it's not even bad. It does a lot to stuff like Toxapex. It also does a lot to Mega Venusaur. Like Venusaur just gets blown away. Um, like BTB and Colin, they made a Specs Gengar team with spikes. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of was it modest? Hmm? Was it modest Specs? I think it was timid. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Modest Specs, Shadow Ball, Oko, Z-Tran. Chimpak devoted the life was like, that's set. And he used Timid Specs at first and then like, it didn't Oko, he tran I think that was, so think that was It's Gator. Or yeah, one of the two. Yeah. Shadow Ball, Oko, Z-Tran, that, that makes no sense to me. That's a, that's offensive Z-Tran. Uh, I cannot M see Modest that. Specs, Gengar. You mean Focus Specs, Blast Gengar. or Shadow Ball? Maybe he's talking about Timid, Max, uh, HP, like timid max speed, max HP. Like Scarf Shadow Ball does 49 to Heatran. If it's Scarf, I mean so. that Heatran has to have like no bulk max. investment at all if it gets Oko. Like that's just the number I see on an average when I Shadow Ball Heatran is like 49. Yeah, yeah offensive train. I mean, yeah, going Greninja he is fine because if the Gengar outspeeds it. He's locked into Shadow Ball, and if he's not Scarf, the Greninja obviously has speed. Um, but the Toxic Specs in the back, probably walls. Like the way Porsche, the way Porsche is playing this Greninja, he switched out earlier into into Zygarde predicting Toxic Specs, so he doesn't have extra sensory. Yeah, because he <laughs> keeps doubling out, and like the Hazards pressure Porsche so much, I don't think he can win. Yeah. Well. If Steve just, I don't know, because like it's obvious if Steve can just keep his tox specs around till Lando is gone, then he should have this game sealed. But he doesn't even have any more defensive mons, so he doesn't have switch ins to much anymore. His tox specs is the only thing. Um, he can't necessarily take on the whole team. Man, that's probably Z move Lando. Oh. The, this Landers can can potentially win. This Landers kind of gets a kill here. Like, what would you do here? Like, do you rock polish or FD? Or... I oh um, if I'm Pasho, um, I rock polish if I'm Pasho. If I'm Angelo, I, I go hard Lando. Yeah, yeah, he goes Lando. Unless I'm fizz, unless I don't I'm, think like, he has HPI on his Lando because he has knockoff. Which is bad for Angelo. Oh, whoa! I think the crit mattered, right? Yeah, he said. I'm things. pretty sure. I mean, I'm sure Adamant Earthplate KOs. Yeah, but he's probably Z move. 
Yeah, but Steve just assumed that he was like a a jolly Z move. <laughs> Lord, someone said, "What if it was banned?" Why did Why did he stay in anyway? Landers was always the play there. I mean, his Landers cannot touch it. Landers is set up for enough of this. If he goes he Landers, have this gets a free rock polish on the switch, and then a free SD in the next turn, because he only has knockoff and probably oh. U-turn off quick rocks. He doesn't have HP eyes. I know, fine. Um, like I'm not hundred percent sure, but I, I would assume he uh, that's his coverage. No, nah, he had not. Yeah, it it should be knock over HP ice. Like I I don't think he has space to run knock off and HP ice. Nah. I mean, what is he going here? I don't know if Venus can can switch in on this. This ice beam. Venus was getting low with the hazards, it's like it's gonna be at 50 or something with hazards. Maybe Without be... even the attack it'll be at 50? Nah, but maybe it will be at 58 or something, a little bit higher. Like one layer? I'll throw do 12 and then two spikes should do 16. So 12 plus 16 is 28. So he's gonna be at 60 and then he's gonna take an ice beam so he's gonna be at 40 something I think. Like 45 or 48. I think two spikes do 16. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. We should know this, but yeah, we don't. I'm, I don't know why I don't know this. <laughs> it's like 16 or 12. I like when I use spikes, so I get up one layer or I get up three layers. I never like really. Right. I never yeah, really there's like, no in between. Yeah. I never tried to figure out how much percentage two layers do. Nice, okay, so Porsche's taking the time, like... You think Porsche's going Bronzong here? I mean, Bronzong is burned, so it's not really doing much back. I can't, I can't see the... The bronze one is at 73% and it's burned. It got Toxapex Skull burned. And, uh. Like, this is just bad for Porsche. I don't see what he would switch in. Yeah, okay, makes the Vino play. Um, yeah, I was about to oh, say, would well, Z Focus Blast kill this, but it's Z and um, Poison Jab. <laughs> Holy shit, that's cool. As a downpour. We saw that uh, in two weeks ago. That's for Feeny. PDC versus, um, who was the guy? PDC versus Cicada, I think we saw that too. Was it last week or two weeks ago? I don't remember. Like how does he, how does he even kill this pheromone? So like, he's timing out too. He, like he doesn't even have. You think he's to... water shuriken on Greninja? Even if he's water shuriken, he has to get like four hits or something. Yeah. To kill, I think. Like <laughs> he, he wouldn't be specs Greninja, so maybe he even had to, would have to get five hits. It's substitute. I don't know. Why he went for substitute? Maybe he thought he would go for toxic. Not sure. Huh. Well, I mean, if the Greninja does have shirk and this should have, fire, this should yeah. have, this should have um, poison jab, ice beam substitute. So the last move is either high jump kick or lunge. I would say, like buck step or fighting step. I mean, it could also be a special based Feromosa. But I think you would like appreciate running a lot of attack on this to like destroy Tapufini with Acid Downpour. Yeah. <laughs> Blunder. What the fuck is this shit? He has no bugs there. <laughs> Do 
these mans are thinking hard. Yeah. Like... Like, Steve Angel would have been in an even better position if he didn't get crit on his toxic pass. I'm pretty sure he lived one. Like, this is how I play on the ladder when I try to concentrate. I take super long. And then I play with people who play fast. Yeah. So, he didn't have a move to hit the Bronzong, I think. What? So, um, oh. Curse Body always activates an SBL. I've said this multiple this, times. This should have Earthquake on it, though. This should have Earthquake and HP ice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some, nice. some runs on one toxic, but yeah, Earthquake is pretty common for to hit Metagross, to hit Magnezone, Heatran. Wait, can't his Greninja just win now? If that's Water Shark and Greninja, it should win. Like. Yeah, it could win now. I mean, doesn't it like lose to Shapido? Because, like, Shapito should kill it after Hazards, potentially. Maybe that's a roll with Crunch. Nah, Greninja, Greninja is at, like, 72. It depends so what move he has in after, turn. Like, after Hazards, the Greninja is at, like... It's super low after Hazards. It's at 40-something, yeah, so it's gonna die to Crunch. Yeah. But he has Feramosa for the Sharpedo. It's probably going to come down to a 50-50 on, like, protecting Sharpedo or not. Yeah, I don't know why he keeps substituting. Oh, yeah, because he got... Yeah, he disabled. Never mind. Yeah, he disabled the Gerable and Dorfka cannot break the sub. Um, I don't know if HPS would have broken the substitute. Bronzong is, like, weak. So he has HJK. Oh. Couldn't he have used that earlier? Uh, I'm, I guess he wanted to get up a sub, so... Now nah, Shuriken, okay, so still, this Shuriken still kills. I think he has Shuriken the way he brings this in. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Nice, nice crit. He just needs three hits. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure the crit... Ma yeah, the crit mattered. Didn't uh, it? Really? I don't think. Yeah, not because not the sure. second one did 22%. Oh, yeah, that's sub... 22 Oh, no, no, no. But he earthquaked the sub and yeah, it didn't yeah, break, yeah, so the yeah. sub didn't have full health. Now that I think about it. Okay, so does he protect forced, here? He's forced to protect. No, him. no, because if he goes Fermosa here, does, if if he's um, no wait, he was a choice. What's the Fermosa set on Pasho's side? Uh, I think it's. Shouldn't it be Scarf? It's Scarf or Expert Build. Like so, if he if he goes if he goes Fermosa on a protect. Yeah. Oh. Wait. He was just trying to get the Intimidate off. I, I guess this is a fine play here too. I mean, now this gets another speed boost. Yeah, this is what I was about to say. A lot of Shapitos don't run Waterfall. Oh, wait. But if they don't run Waterfall, they run Ice Punch most of the time. Ice Fang. I wasn't thinking, but... Yeah, you said it like a. I didn't. I forgot that if even if he went hard Feramosa there, since Sharpedo didn't protect. Yeah, he can protect can again, but yeah. Scarf Feramosa might outspeed Sharpedo even with two speed boosts. I'm not sure. Well, it's definitely adamant Sharpedo because nobody runs Jolly Sharpedo. Yeah, so I think Feramosa still outspeeds if it's Scarf after two protect, but not 100 percent sure. Um, they call me. Um, they call me. I'm 27 hours awake. I couldn't sleep again. Yeah, I'm insane. I don't know what's wrong with me. Always on SPL Sundays, gotta stay up all like. Okay. Like that, the Shapito runs like Psychic Fangs, Poison Jab, Crunch, Protect, or and Crunch. Jab, like Poison Jab is a toss up, and Actually, Ice Fangs. He, uh, he, probably, he probably doesn't have Poison Jab because he has Z Move. Yeah, like he has a Gengar with a poison step. He has Zemo for Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he probably has Ice Fang or Waterfall instead of. A waterfall doesn't hit anything if he gets Ice Fang. Yeah, so but he Waterfall. Just, he just wanted to get the Intimidate off and. 
He's just gonna oh. he's gonna water sure in this for some chip, I guess. Maybe I'm a bit confused, like Doesn't he that so the, the if he gets a second in, if he gets a second intimidate? Oh, so he wanted to oh. reset the intimidate. Nice. Yeah. That was a solid play. Yeah, I'm not good at analyzing this end game. <laughs> nice and four hits. I mean, he gets another Intimidate off for sure. Actually, yeah, if he's got for a Mosa, this... he just wins. So I guess this will work. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Polish. He just clicks the bot move. Wow, also actually managed to... It was looking bad for him, but... Yeah. I don't know if the, the crit on the Toxapex was deciding. Because the, the Landros might have... The Randos would have like taken a skull to the face, I assume. But I don't think that. No, I don't think. That well, like the same. even, even if it scalded, I don't think it killed. Nah, members. it doesn't kill. The question he'd have, he'd is if burn. it would have burned. Yeah, the question is if it would have gone. Which is which is hex too, like crit and burn or both. I mean, hex. he can still go for the double. Oh, protect. that was. That was nice. I wonder if that. Oh, that kills through the protect. <laughs> that was a cool, that was cool. I didn't like. I know Shapiro has like five defense or some shit, but <laughs> man said crit versus Toxa sucked with a like with that smiley. <laughs> and now everyone is putting that smiley in the chat. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not Porsche's mistake. I mean, I'm I'm glad that they played earlier because there were three matches scheduled for in one hour, and it would have been really annoying if they all played at the same time. There is um, get this money versus Ray Scarface in one hour, and uh, Obliviate or Obliviate versus uh, Eternal Spirit, which is pretty interesting. Let me just look at the score and teams. So, Porsche versus Steve. I think Steve was on the Tigers, right? Yeah. And Porsche's on the big, so Porsche makes the series interesting. The score is three and four, not three and four, and if Obliviate wins versus Eternal Spirit, the score would be four and four. That's gonna be a good battle. Like the, these, these teams, I think they can both make playoffs. So like they have to win the week if they want to have a chance to make playoffs. I think the Bigs or the Tigers. Um. Thank you guys for watching. I, I think I forgot some. I had something else to say. Yeah, the, the the analysis in this one wasn't that good, honestly. They call me. I cannot concentrate when I'm tired. Um, thanks to T for being in the video. Not sure if he will yep. join any other videos today. I don't know. A uh, lot, lot, lot more content coming for you guys. Um, this is probably going up on like they're playing on Sunday, but it's probably going up on Monday evening or maybe even on Tuesday because I have a lot of other battles pre-recorded. Um, evening. Uh, yeah, evening my time, like tomorrow. Like I have like I have already uploaded like five more battles that I didn't that I didn't like make public yet because I didn't make thumbnails yet and they all. I didn't wanna I, like push out too much content because my viewers cannot follow. But yeah, um, peace out friends, see you in the next one, thanks for watching.